All right. Hello, everyone. We are starting a new Stardew Valley world today. All right. So this is going to be a super relaxed game. We're not going to try hard or anything. We're not going to try to complete the community center in a year or anything like that. We are just going to live our best lives out here on, I don't know, what I don't know, I can't think of a farm title yet, give me a second. Favorite thing as always, bunnies, because literally can't live my life without them. I think, okay, I always do a dog. We're going to go cat this time. I like that one. <laughs> I'm going to create my character and then I will come back when we are ready to go. All right, we got our character here. Um, I decided to go with Blackberry Farm because I literally can't think of anything else. So I thought that was a fun name. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and skip the intro because if you're watching this, I bet you've seen it like a million times by now. Um, also, we're gonna go with the Four Corners Farm because I've only ever done Forest Farm and Standard Farm. So I wanna give myself a little bit, I, I don't know, I want I want this to be a playthrough of firsts. So like, we're gonna go with the, the Fruit Bat Cave and stuff like that because, um, oh my God, the music's back. Okay, <laughs> sorry, because um, I, I just, I want to do things a little bit differently than I usually do, so that's what we're going to do here. Ooh, <clears throat> I've never had that wallpaper start off with before, to start off with, oh my god, tripping over my words, oh lord. <laughs> so I've been playing on my Switch for um, like weeks now, I've been just like, grinding for for no reason just just for fun um oh my gosh <laughs> so it's gonna take me a second to get used to the controls again uh as always gotta check the fortune teller every day okay uh but yeah i might be like uh, a baby deer trying to walk for the first time trying to do this because <laughs> i have to get used to the controls okay so i guess first things first gotta plant our parsnips of course and I am by no means a pro player. I've been playing for a while, but that does not mean that I know everything or I know all the strats and how to make the fastest money. But like I said, we're just gonna chill. Super chill playthrough. Um, all right, let's get these parsnips in the ground. Two, three, four, five. We need more space. I am going to try and not forget anyone's birthday this year. I'm really wanting to like pay attention to that because I always forget to. And it's super helpful for getting stuff. And also making friends. I love I love that aspect of the game, not just getting free stuff. I don't know who I'm gonna marry in this playthrough. We're not concerned about that quite yet. Uh, in my first one, my first ever playthrough, I married Harvey. I don't know why. He, that mustache just pulled me right in, I guess. And then in my Switch playthrough, I'm actually married to Abigail. And that's been a lot of fun. She's a fun partner to have. Like, I found out, I didn't even know this, but randomly she shows up in the mines. At, she showed up at, like, level 20. Well, I was just trying to, like, capture fish or something like that. I, yeah, I was trying to get the ghost fish. And she was just there. I was like, what the heck? Well, something I had no idea was even in this game. Like, to this day, I'm still finding new things. And so cool. So I'm gonna try not to marry either of those two candidates because I already have. But I don't know. They're, they're really good. I like them a lot. <laughs> the way I start my playthroughs is I just clear out as much as I can on the first day. And then once I'm tired enough, I go into town and talk to everyone. Yeah, this will be interesting playing on this farm because I think it's actually like huge. I'm not 100% sure, but from what I saw, it looked pretty big. So we'll have lots of space to fill. And that'll create uh, for a longer playthrough. So we're in this for the long haul. Oh my god, I just noticed that this is a single trail. And it goes up to the shipping bin, which is two. That <laughs> bothers me. Okay. Okay. 
Alright, we're gonna venture into town. Oh wait, let me... I always do this. I need to create a chest. Because having 12 slots is not amazing. But we're gonna have to work with it. <laughs> Mm. We'll put it right here for now. Okay. And we're off. <gasps> Look who it is. <clears throat> is it a sign? Is it a sign? Should we? No, I'm just kidding. Unless. Oh, that's right. I heard someone new was moving on to that old farm. It's kind of a shame, really. I always enjoyed exploring those overgrown fields by myself. Well, Abigail, you can come over anytime you'd like. <laughs> Aw, Evelyn! Yes, we will call you Granny. You are the grandma of the town. And Gus. Fun. As many recipes to buy. It's been a while since I started a new playthrough, so... And by that I mean like years. <laughs> so. <laughs> Actually, that's not true. I started a playthrough with my boyfriend. That was a lot of fun. We got to year three and then we were burnt out on the game, so we haven't picked it up since. <laughs> oh, no! Okay, we're gonna switch to the scythe so that we don't accidentally pass out on our first day. Vincent! Hello! I'm like, do we have that mission? Yeah, introduction. Wait, no. <laughs> there we go. Alright. No one's home. I literally just went in there. I don't know why I did that. Oh, we haven't gone into Pierre's. Okay, Leah. Got Leah. Hello. It's very nice to meet you. Well, if it isn't the community's most hated NPC. <laughs> um, what's the strat? Do I just buy cauliflower or do I do the parsnips to make fast money? We'll buy <laughs> three cauliflower seeds and eight parsnip seeds. All right. Damn, that shit's expensive. <laughs> okay. Okay, the first birthday is Mayor Lewis. So, okay, that's on the 7th. I actually, a while back, I had I have these little cheat sheets right here that has everyone's birthday and their favorite gifts. So that'll come in handy. Oh. Alright, Maru. Maru's also a good candidate. She's very nice. Elliot. Elliot's nice, but I don't think I'd ever want to marry him. I don't know. He's too Fabio for me, you know. I was about to try and go fishing, but can't quite do that yet, can we? Oh, okay, is this going to cost us? No, we're still, still here, but it was just some stone. Alright, that's fine. A win is a win. A win is a win. I hope that you are playing along with me. Maybe you even started up a new game. We're starting this together. I am definitely just a relaxed player. I am not try hard at all. Like, it stresses me out way too much. <laughs> I'm like, the community center in a year? Nah, I'm good. I'm good. The Joja Mart. Forgot that this is still running. <laughs> I've never done. I don't know if this is obvious or not, <laughs> but I've never done the Joja playthrough, and I don't think I ever will because it just makes me sad. It just makes me sad. And I'm like, I know it has its benefits and whatnot. Because there's really no point to fixing the community center. Like, we all know that. But, I don't know. It's still nice. Fix up the old... Shack. <laughs> this thing is really dingy. Yikes. 
really says a lot about uh, Mayor Lewis's work ethic, doesn't it? Alright. I think that's enough talking for the first day. We'll go ahead and plant our three cauliflower and eight parsnips. <laughs> Quite a haul today, if I do say so myself. We're gonna donate not donate. We're gonna ship off two of the daffodils, but I am when bleh, I am a player that likes to have one of everything, especially in our first year here for the community center. So that's gonna be really important. Yeah, I yeah I'm like already these two we're gonna have to donate. Put those in there. Oh shoot, the mix seeds. Duh, plant those. Oh. <laughs> Uh, kind of forgot. Uh, that's fine. <laughs> Could have thought that through a little better, I guess. No, don't cut the grass. No! Let's, let's just explore the farm a little. Oh! Okay, got this down here. I'm, like, trying to navigate. Let's see. Oh, this is the farm down here. Very cool. It's got a little water thingy. Oh shoot, that's right, it comes with a mini quarry. Quarry? Oh god, don't make fun of me. Um, forgot about that. Awesome. Already got some geodes. Very cool. And over here... Okay, is that the exit to Marnie's? Okay, that's to Marnie's ranch. Very cool. I've never been on this farm, so this is really neat. And what is this corner? Is there a fishing spot, I think? Yes, yes there was. Nice, we can utilize some crab pots there. Very cool. I don't know if that is kind of like the, the pond on the regular farm where it's like, just gonna give you trash the whole time, so we can cross our fingers. But I mean, like, if they put it there as a like low-key fishing spot then it's got to give you something right I don't know we'll find out all right and to sleep we go first day done do we donate something oh my god I'm so stupid <laughs> 60 bucks let's go starting off strong all right Day two, gonna check the fortune teller. Good humor, all right. I legit forgot how little energy you start off with. Like I knew it wasn't a lot, but oh my God, look at that. Look at that. Just got back from a fishing trip. Oh, Willie's ready for us. Awesome. Okay, once we get farther, I don't know why I did that. Once we get farther in the game and our farm starts growing, I'm going to make an extra effort to make sure the layout is suitable for Iridium sprinkler sprinklers as well because right now on my Switch playthrough I'm <laughs> currently uh, expanding because I didn't leave, like I decorated the whole farm and then I was like oh you know I should upgrade to Iridium sprinklers and now the whole lining is off and I'm having to redo everything. And it's like not that big of a deal but still I'm like damn, really could have helped myself out here if I just... Oh, we're out of water. If I just, you know, thought a little, which is very hard for me, it seems. All right, got our plants planted. Oh, mixed seeds, of course. It's extra moolah we can utilize. Oh, and I can't forget strawberries. We're gonna have to save up some money to get some strawberries because that'll be really good to start off with. <laughs> I know I said this was going to be a relaxed playthrough, but I still can't help being like, oh yeah, this and this and this. I'm like, this is my relax. This is what it looks like when I'm relaxed, so. <laughs> and we're already almost out of energy. Great. Let's save a little, because I think we get the fishing rod. We can fish a little. <clears throat> Gonna head down to go see Willy and hopefully talk to more of the townspeople. Have we seen Harvey yet? Let's go. Hello, Maru. Let's 
It's a pleasure to meet you. I'm Harvey, the local doctor. I perform regular checkups and medical procedures for all the residents of Pelican Town. It's rewarding work. I bet it is, Harvey. I hope you find your own work equally rewarding in time. Yes. Can we just appreciate this sign right here? The little, the little nose. I just noticed that. <laughs> oh, Jody. Oh, it's Tuesday. They're going to their the little exercise class. Evelyn. Emily. Gotcha. Marnie. I'm Marnie. Hello. I sell livestock and animal care products at my ranch. Yes, you do. And it's very annoying when you're not there when I need you to be there. Such as today, on a Tuesday, where I would probably need to buy hay in the near future. Oh, okay. Got, got our willy cutscene. Smoking a pipe. Classy man. Ahoy there, miss! Heard there was a newcomer in town. Good to finally meet ya. I'm still trying to unwind from a month out on the salty seas. It was a big haul. I sold a lot of good fish. Finally saved enough to buy me a new rod. Here, I want you to have my old fishing rod. It's important to me that the art of fishing stays alive. And hey, maybe you'll buy something from my shop once in a while. Yay, we got our fishing rod. Bamboo pole. Alright. Oh, <laughs> I started trying to walk. There's good water here in the valley. All kinds of fish. Oh yeah, my shop's back open now, so come by if you need supplies. I'll also buy anything you catch. If it smells, it sells. Hehe, <laughs> that's what my old pappy used to say anyway. I've heard that line so much. <laughs> I've... I'm like, every one of these cutscenes I can probably recite word for word. I don't want to skip any of them though, because, I don't know, it's always nice. I like feeling like a, a part of the town and like interacting with the people, it's fun. Whoa, that, oh my god, the bar is so tiny! Oh my gosh. Oh my god. Like, dang, was it always that small? It's as big as the fish. Great. Anyway, <laughs> Elliot. Well, I really must get back to my work. Is, does your work consist of standing on the beach in front of an empty campfire? I like it. I'm just gonna keep fishing the day away. <sighs> you see... <laughs> okay, I think we can sacrifice one stone. I think it'll be okay. But now, <laughs> I have to go back because there's no room in my inventory. Great! The cows! My favorite part of this game is ranching. It's my favorite part. I always have like at least two barns and two coops just to have everything. I love the animals so much. The layout of this farm is really cool. Like I know it's intended to be with four players, but this is a really cool setup and I'm excited to see how see how it goes. See what's up. And I know I like to have one of everything, but we are going to sell these fish. We'll keep the seaweed, though. Because we want at least some money to buy more crops. We'll save the seaweed. Uh, now we have more room for fishing. And we will just go up here to um, Robin's side of the town. The mountains, that's what they're called. <laughs> Forageables. Hello, Demetrius. Greetings, I'm Demetrius, local scientist and father. Thanks for introducing yourself. I'm studying the local plants and animals from my home laboratory. Have you met my daughter, Mara? She's interested to meet you. Oh, yeah? How interested? Oh, oh. Got him at a good time. I usually have to wait, like, weeks <laughs> before I time it right where I can talk to him. Out of all the places you could live, you chose Pelican Town. You know... 
It'd beat working a desk job. Oh, wait, he works a desk job. Kinda. <laughs> Alright, let's go fishing. Alright, we caught four fish. Not bad. Oh, hey, Linus! We can say hi to Linus. Okay. A stranger. Hello. Don't mind me, I just live out here alone. That is totally fine, Linus. You do you. Okay, who have I not... Who have I not talked to yet? Um, okay, we got Demetrius. Louis. Did we talk to Robin? I mean, I know she meets us in the first cutscene, but does she count? We got Maru already. Oh, we haven't talked to Haley. <laughs> Always a joy to talk to her. Bunny. Need a potato. I don't have any potatoes yet. I'm sorry. Oh, Alex. I know we haven't greeted him yet. Hey, you're the new girl, huh? I think we're going to get along great. I'm Alex. I'll see you around. Hmm. Don't know if we'll get along that great. Pam! Just the girl I was looking to see. Hey kid, the name's Pam. I guess, give me another round. Ugh, yuck. Hi, I'm Sam. Good to meet you. Alright, cool. Penny. Hello, I'm Penny. My rabbit's name is actually Penny. She's sitting across the room right now. I'm gonna put up a picture of her just because I love her so much. Look at that. Isn't she adorable? Does she just want to pet her? I don't know why I'm walking down here. I don't even think I can meet the weas- the, the wizard. I don't think I can meet the wizard yet. Yeah, okay. I think I have to wait until we get the letter or something. Or have to do something, I don't know. Inventory full. Yes, I know that. I'm really liking the farm. It's a nice mix-up from what I'm used to. The forest farm was actually what I picked first when I first started playing Stardew and I knew nothing about it. And I honestly wish I had done a standard farm because there's just way less room for, um, you know, like farming and stuff. So it presented a little bit of a challenge, but I will say the hardwood, um, like that was nice because it comes with like eight logs or six logs or something like that. Not logs, but the stumps and, oh, hey, foraging. Look at that. So easy. Um, easy W. Oh, it's raining. Mail time. Can you find me when my backpack is full? Yes, yes, I want the backpack, but I'm gonna save my money for now. Oh, god damn it! Oh! It's fine. It's fine. Can't even craft a scarecrow yet. God. I'm just gonna angrily chop wood. Uh, yeah, we can go ahead and plant that. Yeah, we can plant it in the spot where that bitch-ass crow took my crop. <laughs> Just gonna keep clearing out my farm. These first few days are probably not gonna be super action-packed or anything like that. Got some pine cones. We'll put that geode in there for now. I usually like to go to Clint for the geodes once I have like a nice backlog of all kinds. But maybe we'll head over there. I don't know. We'll see. See how we're feeling. Can I please? Thank you. I figure we can take this in sections. Like this top half of the farm. You know, like we can clear all this out and get something nice going. And then once this is all filled up, we can start on the next one. Stuff like that. Do I have any food yet? Can I eat like a little something? Yes, I can eat a leek so we can go fishing. And we're just gonna fish the day away again. Because we don't have any energy to do anything. Oh, should we get it? Should we get it? Uh. No, 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 no. No, god damn it. God, this is embarrassing. Am I thinking of another game, or is the rain supposed to give you a fishing boost? I'm like, I, I think. That also applies in Terraria, but I'm not sure. Come on. I'm not gonna fail this time. 
Nice. What do we get? Hey, not bad. Okay. Oh, we can. We have trash. Just throw that out. Great. Oh, no, no. Can't fish again. Oh, okay. Now we're gonna <laughs> very slowly walk back. <laughs> I feel like I got so lucky with the house setup. Like, this is so cute. Or is this just the Four Corners farm setup? Or, like, I've never seen it like this. It's so pretty. Start the fire. Make it nice and cozy. 200 gold. Not bad. Not bad. I think I'm gonna go buy some more parsnip seeds. Maybe get a few others. We got the money now, so. Stardew Valley is one of those games where, like, you play it for, like, weeks straight, and then you put it down for months, and then you're like, dang, I should play Stardew Valley, and then the process just repeats. At least for me, anyway. And that's how it goes with a lot of the games that I like. I cycle through, like, The Sims and Animal Crossing, Terraria. I haven't played Minecraft in a long time, but that is on the list. And this will be a relaxed playthrough, but I am shooting for, um, you know, perfection on year three. Not perfection, but, like, just make sure we get the statue of... what is it? I don't know, the one that gives you Iridium. The best one. <laughs> I actually managed to do it on every single one of my playthroughs without even knowing that that was what happened on year three. So I was like, oh, sweet. Oh, it is Statue of Perfection. That's what it's called. That's why I was thinking perfect. I was like, it's not a perfect playthrough because that's like the end game and I haven't even be began to go there yet. <laughs> I barely got to Ginger Island. We're going to head over to Pierre's, get us some seeds. Plant more crops. Exciting stuff. What do we get? I'm like, I definitely want some, some more parsnips. Can't do a lot yet, obviously, but we're chilling. I don't know why I was about to sell those. Okay. I, hopefully I can water the rest of these without getting exhausted. And let's go try... How many people are we missing? We're still missing five. Let's go try and find the people that we're missing. Like, let me check out... Okay, we got Maru, Evelyn, Emily, Elliot, JJ, Sebastian, Linus, Oh, okay. It tells us. Haley... Oh, we haven't met George yet? Okay, alright. Good afternoon, Mayor Lewis. It's your first night at the cottage. Your grandpa used to complain about the rickety old bed, but I think deep down he actually loved that house. It's a nice house. Why does everyone want to keep calling it a shithole? Now buzz off. I think you should be a little kinder to me because when I give you hot peppers for your knees you're gonna thank me still haven't met Haley where's Haley is she home there's Jody if she's in her bedroom I'm gonna be upset okay she's not here she's not at the beach is she she goes there during the summer I think I think okay hold on if I remember correctly she's up by the water fountain oh Caroline Found ya. You're trying to hide from me. Oh, you're that new farmer girl or whatever, aren't you? Huh? Oh, I'm Haley. Hmm, if it weren't for those horrendous clothes, you might actually be pretty. Actually, never mind. <sighs> Bitch. Um, so we are going to... I think we'll use the rest of our energy to go fishing. Or, oh, wait, how else am I missing? Jass. I haven't met Jass. Is she by that tree in Marnie's yard? I don't know, but we found Leah. Where the heck is Jass? Oh, she may be inside. There she is. Hi! <laughs> Alright. I think that is everyone we can get for now, yes, because we can't meet the wizard yet, but we will. Nice. And it's gold star. Nice, we'll get a nice uh, chunk of gold out of that, I think. Ooh, let's go try fishing on that plot of, that plot of land down um, in the bottom left corner. Alright, well let's get one thing, or maybe two. I think we have a few clicks left at us. 
Yeah, see, we're not off to a great start. Are you serious? Yeah, okay. Great. So, my sneaking suspicion was correct in the fact that it is the same as the regular farm and just gives you trash. <laughs> great! Alright, so we don't have anything else to sell, and I am exhausted, so we're just gonna head to bed. We'll save the trash for now in case I get a recycling machine, but I don't remember when we get that, so... I might just have to throw it away. Alright. And we are heading into day five, but I think that's where I'll call it for the first episode, or first part of this series. Um... So come back to see those parsnips get cultivated, <laughs> get harvested. Um, I hope you'll stick around for the rest of the playthrough, and I hope you all have a great day. I'll see you in the next one.